everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel I asked if you guys wanted to see what I bring with me to my externship in my clinical bag and a bunch of you said yes so here I am giving you guys an inside look as to what I keep in my clinical bag I will have links to all the products mentioned in this video listed down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of them and without further ado let's get started so this is just the bag that I bring with me to my externship it is a North Face Recon squash backpack this is the in-between size for the North North Face Recon adult version which I use for school and the North Face Sprout bag that I use as my allergy bag. I will have videos featuring both those bags in the description box in case you guys are interested in seeing the size comparison. This bag right here is a great size. It is not overly big but then again it is not overly small. It fits an absolute ton. I can even fit my laptop in here if I wanted to and a binder because I have done that in the past and as you guys can see it is in like a acid washed purple tie-dye print and I got this particular one off the North Face website. I will have it linked down below for you guys. I highly recommend it because like I said, it is the perfect size. I even have my lunchbox in here currently and now I'm just going to go through it starting with the outside. So first up is my water bottle. I normally actually put it in the bag, but lately I've also just been carrying it around. I got this specifically for my externship. It is a Contigo 24 ounce auto seal water bottle and it's obviously pink. I got this one from Walmart on sale and what's great about this is it keeps water cold for 28 hours. You can cannot use hot liquids in it, but it is great for cold ones. I can literally put ice in this the night before and it'll still be there in the morning and my water will stay cold throughout the entire day, which is great. I have been carrying it in by the little handle. It's just a lot easier because I put it right on my desk when I get there. And what's also great about this is that the mouthpiece is actually covered by this little plastic piece and it doesn't leak because you do have to push the button here on the back for the mouthpiece to actually open. I just like this because I am in a doctor's office. There are a lot of germs, so this just covers the mouthpiece a little more. Now moving on to the actual bag, I do have a Purell hand sanitizer and it is just clipped here. If you guys have seen my other backpack videos with North Faces, you guys know that I always put a hand sanitizer on this little hook thing. And then typically in this outside water bottle pocket, I do keep my phone. And the other one is currently empty. And then there is this mesh pouch that I have a mini composition notebook that I got from Walmart. I take notes every day. This is also how I track my hours and important things throughout my extra. And for me, it's just easier to keep it right in the outside pocket. And then like most backpacks, it does have one of these small, easy to get to pockets and it is pretty big. It goes down to about here. In there, I just have a pen. This is one of my favorite pens. It's just a black Staples pen. I've talked about them in many of my school supplies videos. Right here, I do have my ID badge along with a badge reel. The badge reel is from Etsy. I can't remember the shop off the top of my head, but it's just a cute little pineapple. And I will have it linked down below for you guys. I have a $10 bill in case I want to get something from the vending machine or in case someone goes out and gets us lunch. That way I can pay them back. I have a hair tie because our hair has to be up and you can never have too many hair ties and I've actually had a few break on me and I've gotten into kind of a little bit of a bind because I didn't have an extra hair tie and had to get them from someone else but I now keep a ton of extras with me. I have these Listerine breath strips. Let me tell you these are a must-have for my externship. Speaking of must-haves, I do have an entire video that I will link down below of all my must-haves for my externship. These are definitely a big one and literally these are what I am known for. They are just breath strips. No one likes nasty breath, especially after lunch. I like to pop these in every hour to every few hours depending on how I'm feeling because it's just nice to have fresh breath and I often get asked for them by others that I'm working with too. I have two chapsticks because doctor's offices are pretty dry and my lips have been suffering quite a ton. They're both by the chapstick brand and the first one is classic strawberry and then this one is grape to meet you. I have two unused flossers just in case I need to floss my teeth at any point especially after lunch if I get something stuck in my teeth and the last thing I have in that pocket is some eye drops these are the Bizine advanced redness and irritation relief eye drops I do have seasonal allergies and these have been coming in quite handy and now we are going to move on to the big pocket and let me tell you I have quite a few things in here first up I have my lunchbox this is just from Amazon and it's a cute lunchbox it's blue with pink flamingos on it and I love it it is insulated which is nice and it holds a ton and on on the outside I do just have this little tag that says allergy alert because I do have food allergies and it just makes people aware a lot of times when people see this they do go ahead and ask what I'm allergic to I have my stethoscope of course this is just the MDF acoustica lightweight stethoscope I absolutely love this stethoscope it is great it 
is lightweight like the name suggests. It has free parts for life. The tubing is longer than the standard stethoscope tubing. It doesn't hurt my neck when it's sitting on it. It has great acoustics and I love it. Cannot say enough good things about it. I have this little plastic container of cards. I usually study these at lunch or on my way into the office or on my way out of the office. These are just laminated cards for my CMA exam and it's essentially just the tools and I literally printed out the pictures, glued them to index cards, used a label maker to label them on the back and then I went ahead and laminated them. I have a whole bucket of the different tools that I need to know and they fit really nicely in this container. I have my glasses because I do wear these every day. I do not typically wear them filming because they do have a glare. These are just them. I have my EpiPen and Benadryl right in here. This is just one of the Johnson & Johnson first aid kits and if you have the AviQ, quick life hack, the AviQ and Benadryl fit perfectly in here. And then lastly I do have this bag which just has a ton of stuff in it. I will go through it in a second but first I did want to show you guys the amount of space and room you have in the actual bag. As you guys can see it is pretty spacious. But right here this is a bag from Shana B Miami. I have featured it here on my channel before. It is such a great bag. I absolutely love it. If anything spills you can easily wipe it off and it works great because you can literally throw a ton of different things in here and then throw it in your bag and it does roll up pretty nicely. In here I just have my inhaler and my aero chamber. It doesn't matter how old you are you should always use a aero chamber spacer with your inhaler. I do have asthma. I have some pain medicine. This is just the Walmart brand 8 hour arthritis pain relief. This stuff works wonders. I know it says it's for arthritis but it also works for cramps. It also works really good for headaches that just won't budge. So I have a little bottle of that in there. I have a travel hairbrush and on the end I did go ahead and put one of those little book rings with five hair ties so that I don't have any issues if a hair tie breaks and if someone else needs one I can easily give them one. I have a little pack of band-aids. I believe I got this at Dollar Tree. It just has eight band-aids in here and it's a little container. You never know if you're going to need one. Obviously being in a doctor's office there are going to be band-aids around but sometimes it's just easier to pull out your own. And lastly I have an extra deodorant. Lately I've been using the Axe Apollo All Day Fresh deodorant. It's like a gel one which I like. I hate the ones that are like white powdery ones. I really like the gel ones and guys deodorant works way better with me than women's deodorant. So I do just have a backup in here. Sometimes after lunch I put it on. Some days I sweat more than others and feel the need that I do need it. So I have it just in case. So that is everything that is in my externship bag and that I bring with me. I hope you guys like this video and are liking the medical assisting related videos. If you are be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments. While you guys are down there be sure to hit that subscribe button to become part of our squad. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Thank you.